Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 8 Let's Play. This is day two and I'm super excited for what we're going to be up to today because last time we got all the day one priorities. We got our laboratory upgraded. We got our clan castle upgraded uh, and all the other things, right? So today, what do we do day two, right? What do we do day two? So first things first, uh, yeah, uh, because this is sort of like a challenge run through Clash of Clans where I'm trying not to remove my stones. Um, I'm having to build around them. And it's causing some issues. I'm probably going to have to adjust my base design, spend a little more time making it pretty. But as of right now, it's not pretty. I'm sorry. Uh, but that's what we have right now. Uh, I, I didn't work very hard on it, but I did work on it a little. But I did do, and this is going to work, uh, the progress base. Yes, so I have moved across everything that is maxed uh, to this side of the base and everything that needs to be upgraded to this side of the base, except for the Seeking Air Mine. I don't know why it's there, so let's move it across with the other Seeking Air Mine, which is there. Very good. Okay, so, yes, everything that is maxed out now on the side of the base with the Clan Castle and the Spell Factory. The existing storages don't need to be upgraded again from Town of Late, and same thing with the Army Camps, and same thing with the Builder Huts. They don't upgrade until a much later date. So that means that uh, everything that needs to be upgraded is here. Now, I'm going to be primarily focusing on Elixir-based upgrades, okay? And so, that means I am still using Barch. So let's go use the Barch. Uh, let's try to get a couple of... Stars or something like that. You never know. Barch isn't so great with getting stars. But uh, it is pretty good about getting... Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, back up. I didn't realize I have, like, max elixir. Okay, before we... Before we... Before we attack, okay? I don't want to be wasteful. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and use up our elixir. At least do a few upgrades. So, first things first. As usual, let's get this barbarian upgrade going. This will improve my king's ability and also my... Uh, half the troops in my barge. So, one million elixir, one and a half to upgrade, three, two, one, bam. All right. That's good. Uh, so does that mean, okay, yeah. So now I can go ahead and go do a couple of raids. Now we have some new buildings that we still need to get. Things like, uh, uh, I think it's the, uh, the second dark barracks needs to be gotten. Uh, dark elixir drill that needs to be gotten as well. And then of course we have some more key upgrades that need to be done that weren't necessarily day one importance. But they're definitely day two importance, so you guys be staying tuned for that. So in the meantime, as I try to find that perfect base, that'll work. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Klaus family, and ring that bell for notifications. And do consider using code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game. It makes a huge difference. You guys, for those of you that do that, thank you so much. All right, so King, level 10 versus level 1. Yes, I love that power potion. Where's this guy's? Why is he punching him? Why isn't he using a sword on him? That's so funny. I've, I've always found that to be entertaining. All right, Barbarians. Get on and down in there, boy. Get on down in there. The notch is getting there, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and I've got some hogs in my CC. So that's awesome. This is also the first time that I've got a poison spell. So I will definitely be using it if needed. Um, probably don't need it, though, to be honest. I'm going to drop a heal on the hogs. Everything else can probably hang on its own. This is a Town Hall 7. So, you know, shouldn't be an issue for me. Although I don't have any Town Hall 8 level troops or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, it's a, it's a matter of principle. I was three-starring Town Hall 8s as a Town Hall 7, so I should build a three-star Town Hall 7s as a Town Hall 8. You know what I'm saying? But this is a pretty good amount of loot, and uh, the fact that we had some hogs in the CC and a heal spell got us through there. We got that three-star, no problem whatsoever. So that's actually, wow. So if we were to, like, accidentally hit the end button, the end battle button, this would have been one of those, like, terrible experiences of getting a 99% one-star. How awful would that be? Anyway, so that was a lot of gold. That was actually quite a bit of, um, more gold than I was expecting it to be. A decent amount of elixir, actually, and, uh, 24 trophies. Got to enjoy that right there. Let's go ahead and request for some CC troops, and I'm asking for anything, but I do want a poison. So I'm gonna be specific about the poison. Everything else, they can send whatever they want, okay? No problem there. So while I wait for them, and my king, which has a minute, two minutes to go, let's go back over to Builder Base and uh, get something done. So let's go do a raid or two. I need a lot of elixir to be able to upgrade my battle machine uh, one more time, or however many times I need to do it. So get in here, let's go ahead and take out these corner buildings. I think I can go ahead, yeah, go ahead and get there, get that archer tower down. And uh, man, I should have probably thought this through a little bit better, because this air bomb is going to absolutely wreck my poor baby dragon while he was... <laughs> While they were working on the guard post troops. Oh, that was horrible. But okay, now I'll get the air bomb distracted on a, uh, a baby dragon. That's awesome. Uh, let's go in with that for the archer tower. Air bomb already went down. Let's get that Tesla down too. And now, guys, I think we're just about ready to send in the battle machine. There we go. Okay. 
So, uh, firecracker, let's go. Get the ending. Oh, okay, that's all of my baby dragons. <laughs> that's all she wrote, folks. That's all she wrote. Good thing the baby dragon got rid of that multi infer or multi uh, multi mortar. Yes, that was a multi mortar that he got. So now it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a rough go. I have to be honest. It's gonna be a rough go because getting uh, all of these point defenses down and using this battle machine's ability again, it's not gonna work out. It's gonna die. We ran out of time. Yeah, that's what I figured what was going to happen. Okay, well, 73% two star, one star. Ugh, yeah, that's rough. So that means this guy could literally get a 50% two star and win. I hope he doesn't, but I suspect he probably will. Yeah, look at that. The 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 witch and all that stuff. Can definitely get to eat this town hall. Unless they fail to get a two star. Oh, see that? Dang it, man. Dang it. Look at that. This is going to be like a low percent 50. And two star, and they're still gonna win. That's such a stupid thing. I hate that. Okay, well, we tried, right? We tried. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade something. I got, I got a decent amount of gold, actually. So why not upgrade something cheap? Let's do a push trap. You know, two hour upgrade. Let's uh, let's boost. And I'm trying to win raids, guys, but it's tough. Okay, it's tough. Battle builder base is tough, and that's one of the reasons why I don't really try very hard with it, because. It's just frustrating, you know? It's just frustrating. But okay, so the king is awake. I've got some balloons in the CC now. That's going to be pretty cool. And, of course, we have our Archer Rooney. So let's do this, guys. I'm going to find that perfect base. You know that perfect base? Juicy. Loot all over the collections in the mines. Lots of loot in the storages. Uh, and uh, tombstones everywhere, because that means there's no CC. Or at least usually that's what that means. Yeah, that's what I'm going to look for. Wow, that's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's close. It's pretty close. I mean, look, 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 tombstones everywhere. Uh, I guess the question is, are there any clan castle troops? It looks like there is not. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to get the archer to start working on that clan castle. And uh, we got to get the troops in here. Let's see. Where the sweeper's pointing down. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to attack from the top. All right, so we're going to distract the, uh, the wizard towers. And send in the balloons, drop ourselves a heal spell, and then get the balloons, or uh, the barbarians, we're going to start diving into this base, hopefully pretty quickly, okay? Archers deployed as well. King's ability, drop ourselves a heal spell. Let's go ahead and just drop the heal spell out there. Very good. And get the rest of the archers in there. Very good. Okay, poison over the king. There you go. See, this, this is why the poison spell is the best upgrade. This is why Dark Spell Factory is absolutely key because being able to poison like the king or any clan castle troops is gonna make or break the attack, absolutely. So now most of the defenses have already been cleared out. The king is doing a fantastic job of tanking. Gotta love the fact that he's got that power potion effect. And uh, yeah, dude, this game, this game is over, right? I gained 18 trophies, crazy amounts of loot. Uh, I might actually max out my elixir again. I'm a little concerned. I don't want to waste any elixir, especially at the beginning stages of Town Hall 8. Uh, I guess we'll find out, shall we? Um, okay. Ooh, and yeah, just a little bit of dark elixir left, and I suppose this means there are corner buildings. Yeah, there are two. But the split will be kind to me. That's a good way to put it. The split will be kind to me. We're not going to have to sit here and stare at it for a long time, and there you go. There is the three star. Gotta love it. So, two three stars with Barch today, guys. So many people want to say Barch is a trash attack. No, it's not necessarily the strategy. I mean, I have to admit, it usually doesn't get into the core of the base in Legend League, but it's still a really good strategy for farming up, especially at the beginning of any Town Hall level. You want Elixir, you go with Barch. Anyway, so there you go, guys. 500,000 plus gold and Elixir, a great amount of loot in the treasury as well. And I think my treasury, yeah, I've already maxed out both my gold and my Elixir. So definitely want to collect a little bit of that. In fact, you know what? Let me go ahead and collect a little bit of that now. That way it doesn't collect all of it, just some of it. I've got a couple of achievements I want to collect on, by the way. Upgrade my clan castles level 4. I get 20 free gems. And clan war wealth. Collect 15 million gold from the clan castle. Wow, that's a lot of gold. Uh, 100 gems. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go and claim that. And that puts me at, get this, guys, 11 gems before I hit 2,000. And what's significant about hitting 2,000 gems? The fifth builder. <laughs> That's right. So that means I'm going to do something I should have done a long time ago. Uh, this guy, he's still rocking. Uh, I'm going to cancel this upgrade. I don't care about the cost because I need to start removing these trees and getting some free gems. See, there was three gems right there. So now we only need seven. That one didn't have any. That was unfortunate. 
Uh, that one had a single gem, so we're now we need six more. That one had five. Ooh, we only need one more left. Here we go. Here we go. Dang it. That was anticlimactic. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, 2,000 gems. So, <laughs> not only is this video just fantastic because it's day two of Town Hall 8, but now I get to afford the fifth builder. Yes! Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go! And of course, everybody knows that my my fifth builder's name is Bob. I don't know about y'all, but F Bob the Build, you know, it makes sense. So let's go and grab this, guys, in three, two, one. Bam. Nice. Now, is he going to swap places with all this? No, i got to move them all manually, don't I? That's a bummer. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Place that there. Perfect. Five builders, guys. Oh, this feels amazing. So now I have to get my sixth builder, which I think I can only get at Town Hall 10 or higher. So we're going to be working toward that, obviously, but it's going to be a little while. But yeah, five builders, guys. Oh, this is such a great day. I'm super stoked right now. Okay. So, uh, let's get some cool stuff done. I guess, first of all, let's get the new elixir building. So I'm going to get the second dark barracks. I'm going to have to rearrange all this. But the second dark barracks, it's an elixir upgrade. I want to get it going. I want to get it done. And now that I've got the extra builder, I'm not at all worried about not getting everything done that I want to get done today. Uh, if you guys get your fifth builder before me and you're a free-to-play player, let me know roughly when you got it, okay? If you haven't got it yet, then... Come back to this video once you get it. Let me know. Okay, that'd be great. Or post it on any video, honestly. I read every comment, and it all shows up like a news feed on my YouTube studio app. So, you know, it doesn't really matter which video you post it on. I'll see it. Or my Discord server. That's a great idea. Put it put it on my Discord server. All right, guys. Anyway, so let's get this Dark Barracks. Three, two, one. Bam. Okay, four hours to go. Any other thing? Yes, Dark Elixir Drill. Definitely want to grab that. Uh, Grab that right there. There we go. Any other free, or I'm sorry, not free, but any other new elixir buildings? No. Okay, so the only other new buildings are the tra uh, the, the defenses. We have the mortar, the wizard tower, the bomb tower, which is new for Tunnel 8, and of course the hidden tells that we get one more. So that'll definitely be coming soon, but not yet. Uh, what else? Any other major upgrades? Yes, okay, so this Dark Spell Factory, I want to go ahead and get the second upgrade in the books because 18 hours... I don't want to have to not have Poison Spell for 18 hours whenever I'm deep into Town Hall 8 and I need those trap, those spells, right? I don't want to wait. I want to go ahead and get it done as early as possible. So let's go ahead and do this one. 500,000 Elixir, 18 hour upgrade, 3, 2, 1, bam. There we go. And this is going to be maxed out, so we're going to move it across the map. And we'll put it uh, right there, I guess. And then, uh, what else do we have, guys? What else do we have? I mean, the Dark Elixir Storage, that'd be fantastic to upgrade that. That's a million elixir. Is there any other high-priority buildings? I mean, I've got two builders left. I can't afford the King upgrade yet. That would be cool, but, but I can't. Unless I get some free el uh, Dark Elixir in here somewhere. Nope. Okay. So, let's upgrade this Dark Elixir Storage, guys. One day upgrade. One million elixir. Three, two, one. Bam. There we go. See, notice I'm really prioritizing the elixir-based upgrades in day one because I want to be, it gets to the point to where elixir doesn't matter like I want to get to that point as soon as I possibly can so I can use some dragons you know dragons are also really good still at town hall eight okay uh what are you we're your dark elixir drill yeah I'm going to put both the dark elixir drills over here I'm also going to get this gold storage and put it here and I'm going to swap the gold storage and the king kind of putting it in priority level or order uh so I do want to upgrade this dark elixir storage but not today Let's also, or I'm sorry, that's a gold storage. Dude, my bad. Gold storage is an elixir upgrade. That's why it's there. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Not really anything else that's super duper high priority. I guess I could start upgrading barracks. It doesn't hurt. Uh, day and a half upgrade. Let's look at the suggested upgrades. So we get the barracks with the dark barracks. Gold mine, elixir storage. I could get some of the new defenses maybe. Yeah, let's look at the new defenses. Um, the longest one is the bomb tower. You know what? I think this would be a great idea. Get the bomb tower. It's the most expensive. It's the one that's going to take the longest. And it's a bonus upgrade today because I didn't expect to get the fifth builder. So before I get that, though, I do want to spend my gold. So let's see. How much is this going to be? 880,000. I got more than enough gold for that. Let's upgrade this one. 440,000. Very good. I'm going to move this wall out of the way. Okay. 320,000. Yeah, the purple walls are so much more expensive. 400,000. And I bet you, yeah, that's 2.4 million. We can't quite afford that 
Unless I collect the treasury. Nah, I don't want to collect the treasury. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. So let's just uh, let's notch out. How much is this? 80. So I'm going to notch out four of these. 208,000. There you go. Nice. All right. So that means, guys, that I have already gotten almost all of my new walls to the same level as the other ones. That's the best thing about doing this at the beginning. And I always stick with this program. Offense first. Elixir based stuff. Get the walls kind of done and then get into the traps and the defenses. Uh, it just it, it helps with the end game because the last thing I want to do is work on walls at the end. I want I want walls to be done as quickly as possible. So uh, I guess, guys, that is going to do it for me today in this episode of a tunnel. Late Let's play. Um, I'm going to have to put a new wall or new uh, buildings here. Let's just put a corner building up. Yeah. And then where's the other dark elixir drill? Yeah, dark elixir drills over here. So I'm going to put this over here and then dark barracks. Put that there, too. That's fine. There we go. Cool. So, uh, guys, new base, although it looks terrible. And it's not really new. It's just in addition to the old base, new progress base, fifth builder. I didn't even get the fifth building. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bomb tower. Oh, I spent my gold. Ah! Habits die hard. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I forgot to save my gold for the bomb tower upgrade. Okay, so I have to do an elixir upgrade. That's that's kind of fine, because that's kind of what I was expecting to do today anyway. Was was four, like all elixir upgrades. So the fact that I can do five of them is cool, because then I was get five elixir upgrades out of the way. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, so um let's work on the barracks. Yeah. Danath upgrade at 1.5 million elixir in three, two, one, bam. And of course that'll unlock the Pekka, which is fantastic. And I believe that barracks will be maxed out. So I'll just go ahead and move it across the map. There we go. And what's this again? Dark barracks. Yeah, we'll move that down just like so. See, we've cleaned up for uh, uh, cleaned up after ourselves though. That was that was good. Can't believe I just did that. Uh, guys, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like the video if you like to subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Don't forget to use code Klaus. And don't forget that the code actually does expire after seven days. So always go into your shop. Look for your little white C. Mine is there, so I'm good. But if it wasn't, I'd use the link in the description to input the code automatically or do it manually in the settings. And remember, it works on every single Super Soul game, not just Clash of Clans. Remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.